We're just one month into the 2023 sea turtle nesting season and South Walton Turtle Watch members say it's starting strong. It is. Turtle Watch uh, volunteers are asking beachgoers, though, to be on the lookout for all those nests. As News 13's Bailey Nichols tells us, the best thing you can do is report sightings and leave the nest alone. At Ed Walleen Beach, the work of a Turtle Watch volunteer begins before daylight. Our team gets out about 30 minutes before sunrise, and we are always out here surveying these beautiful beaches, looking for sea turtle nests. And we are also out picking up trash, educating the public, filling in holes, and anything else we can do to help keep our beaches clean and dark and flat for our sea turtles. The last sea turtle nesting season wrapped up with some solid statistics. The South Wallen group discovered 62 nests and over 4,000 hatchlings. We are starting to pick up, starting to see more mamas come in and lay their nests, and we're loving it. We're really excited, and we're hoping that we have an excellent season with really great numbers as we have had in previous years. This nesting season just started, and it's looking to be quite the successful year. I would say that we might possibly be doing better than last year. It's still a little bit early to tell, but based on the statewide trends, I feel like we are trending in an excellent direction for population recovery. During this season, Paige and other surveyors have come across four different species of sea turtles. The most common would be a loggerhead sea turtle, and then we also see greens, Kemp's Ridleys, and leatherbacks. To keep the sea turtles safe, Paige recommends to fill all holes, knock over sand castles, and turn off all unnecessary outdoor lighting. In Walton County, Bailey Nichols, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Sea turtle nesting season is also very active on Bay and Gulf County beaches. Now, if you'd like to find out more about how you can help these turtles lay their eggs in peace, you can visit our website, mypanhandle.com, for more details.